Okay, another quick clip. I've got all the uh, plates clean now. And um, what I've done, some modifications here. Um, they have, I've got the uh, three holes in, in the top now on all, all of them except for the outside plates here. The very outside ones. Um, those just have the single. Um, all the rest of them have three. And so looking through here, um, this is what all the neutral plates look like now. Um, they've all been, I resanded everything, all of them, uh, with a 60 grit. And uh, cleaned off, scrubbed them off, and then wiped them all down with uh, some uh, rubbing alcohol. And so these are about as clean as, uh, as I know how to make them at the moment. Um, I haven't touched them with my hands other than with these gloves. Uh, the old uh, plates here, <clears throat> or the end plates, still have um, so a little residue inside of the brown crap. Um, not sure what to do about that at the moment, so cleaned it as best I could, and these have all been wiped down also. And then gaskets have all been scrubbed very well and are ready to go back in. So I think this is ready to be reassembled now. We'll have a total of 19 plates now, uh, 18 cells, and that will be... What have I got here? Three stacks, I believe. One, two, yeah, three stacks in there. So it'll be set to run on 12 volts. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. Oh, one other thing I did want to mention too um, is all the ones with the uh, fluid hole in the center are old plates. All the new plates that I'm just adding. Um, I put the hole in the corner and my idea is to switch these back and forth as I you know I'm going through it to get that uh, get the electrolyte moving around in there to avoid uh, any direct holes um, in case there is any uh, issue with uh, current leakage which uh, so I'm interested to see if that makes any difference. Uh, anyway, talk to you later.